Hello. It's um it's about eleven thirty at night on Monday the thirteenth. And <clears throat> it's about two or three days before surgery now and I just wanna share my thoughts. Um I'm very excited. I'm very excited going forward with this. I'm very happy. Um to be getting um, the parts physically removed and excuse me, um, the testosterone out of my body as well. Um, my body will no longer produce testosterone, but I'm very excited about it. I'm very happy. I'm very relaxed. But that's not to say like I'm not experiencing emotions because I am. Um, trust me. This comes with a myriad of emotions because this is this is the very end of a long chapter in my life. And you know, the words you know, fertility and reproduction come up. However, those ships sailed for me a long time ago. And <clears throat> this surgery is, is simply just a reminder to me of the end of that those 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 things the fertility was over a long time ago when I began HRT when my last relationship ended though so it was the, the surgery isn't isn't the true end all be all of my fertility or any future chance I ever had of having more children but it certainly um is the closing of the book. Like, you, you read to the end of the story, then you close the book. This would be the closing of the book. The story was over a long time ago. The last page was turned quite some time ago. And I just think about it. I wish... I wish I could have had more kids. I wanted so many more. I had a stepdaughter some years back. She was wonderful. I had one biological child. Um, I lost in a miscarriage. Um, it was May of 2014, so it's been now 10 years. So it's a very, very powerful moment for me right now in my life, remembering all of that about my, my baby that didn't make it. But also I have another one that did. She was the one that said she's coming to planet Earth and there was nothing we could do to stop her. And she was born in 2015 and I have not seen her in many years now. I miss her. I had quite the connection with her. It's amazing. It's amazing. But in my life and in my time and in my transition, I tried over and over and over again to make more. I wanted more kids so bad. I had all the names for them and I thought about all the things they would teach them. But it just didn't happen. And I couldn't, I couldn't slow down the pace of this transition even if I wanted to. My transition, <clears throat> it was going forward regardless. And I looked at the op the options and down the avenue of, you know, the, the co it costs money to freeze your assets um, or whatever that people call them. Um, it You also have to have somebody that wants to take them. I don't have that either. I don't. And then I would, you know, I'd have to be off my hormones to provide a sample. And that wasn't going to happen. You know, I couldn't take me off my hormones and I'm in a world of hell. And I don't want to... No, I wouldn't survive. But I wanted so many more. I wanted a lot of kids. I loved being a parent at the time that I had. But... This surgery, 
I'm happy. It's it's a GRS prep, a gender reassignment surgery prep. Um, this is good. Normally they do this for the big one, um, but that's still a little ways out for me. So they're going to get to do this now, which is great because it gets me off of spironolactone. No more testosterone blockers. I hopefully won't have to pee as much. I'm excited for this and um, just want to share my thoughts and how I feel. Right? But I will say this. If you want to, if you want to know what is IV, what is the toughest part about what you're facing right now? It's not the surgery. It's not anything else that you'd think it is. It is. Um, it's the loneliness that comes with this. It's so very, 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 very lonely. Ask any transgender person, man or woman how it feels. It's lonely. The loneliness is the most antagonizing part of all of that. I wish I could make it stop. I wish the loneliness would go away. I got everything I ever wanted. Except that loneliness just creeps right up on you. It definitely makes you see humanity in a different way, in a very special way. So anyways, I just wanted to share that for a little bit. I'm Ivy and Van Hope, and that's been my time. Bye.